Pulses are actually grown in every region of the world. Everyone has some sort of a dry bean or a pea or a lentil or a chickpea that they actually grow in their region. They uh, don't require any nitrogen fertilizer because they fix their own nitrogen from the air, okay? which is very unique in the plant kingdom. So in that respect, if you are a low input farmer, and you still want to get a productive yield from a, a crop that you're going to raise, pulse crops are certainly that crop because they don't require a lot of inputs. Now, of course, they re require good seed. That's helpful for high productivity, but they don't require a lot of other inputs beside that. Uh, they are a low water use crop, which in many of the regions around the world, they need low water use crops. So these crops are good for your soil, they're good for your health, you know, they're high in protein, they're high in dietary fibers, they're high in magnesium, they're high in folate uh, for developed, you know, for pregnant mothers. They are truly just a superfood. Of course, in every diet you need a good balanced diet, but uh, we are absolutely uh, convinced that this, if we're going to deliver uh, the food stuffs that we need, uh, in the by 2050 in this increasing population that we're going to have to increase the productivity of these of these superfoods of these pulse crops in order to meet uh, that growing population demand we're trying to raise awareness around the world of the importance of pulse crops to the overall food security uh, goals of every country so in, in North America, we need to have, uh, in, the, in most developed worlds actually, we need to increase our, our dietary fiber intake in order to push things through our system so we don't gain so much weight. But in the developing world, they really need the protein source. Pulse crops have been under-researched. They uh, don't have a, we don't have a great system for extension to teach farmers how to use and grow these crops. There isn't good seed sources available to these farmers. So we need to give tools to our small uh, stakeholder farmers in Africa. In fact, one of the goals of the International Year of Pulse is we have a whole thematic area planned out for food security. And we are going to bring in uh, geneticists and breeders from around the world to develop a strategic plan worldwide of how we can address all of the regions of the world, all the pulse crops, how we can raise the productivity in order to deliver an inexpensive food source and nutritious, a nutritious food source uh, for the world's population.